thanks for tuning in to Erica and her mom. Erica is at work today, and so I'm I'm at work too. I have things to do today. Um, I have some a decluttering chore that I am going to do. Um, you know what's funny is as you declutter your house and things get cleaner and you get the deep cleaning, you start noticing things that are out of order and you didn't even know it. So this particular thing is our vitamins and supplements. Um, they have been in several different places and we I just wanna get them all into the same place because I realized, you know, I'm kind of stepping over Jules and he's stepping over me when he wants to get his supplements from the kitchen because they're in a cabinet near the our stove. So I'm gonna move, rearrange everything not everything in the kitchen, but two cabinets. So I'm gonna put his thing in one cabinet and the things that were in that cabinet over beside where I need to stand most of the time when I'm in the kitchen. So, yeah, like I said, um, you know, I heard this saying that you don't know, how does it go? You don't know you're in prison. No, no, you don't know how to break out of your prison because you don't know you're in one. So I, I feel like that happens every time I notice something that, you know, this is so out of order. This is causing so many problems. Um, and these little stressors just kind of build and build and build. And so this little stressor has been building. So we're gonna take care of that this morning. And this afternoon I have a dermatology appointment and I go about every six months. And a lot, I'm very fair skin. So I have, I have um, little, you know, things that pop up. So one year I had a mole on my arm and it came up very quickly. So I knew, I knew this, this wasn't right. So I called the doctor and we got in to see him and um, he, he was saying, well, this is, you know, something. And I um, no, this is, this is cancer but um, he made me feel better and convinced me that it wasn't. And then it came back, the, the biopsy came back and it was a melanoma. So when he took it out, um, if a melanoma spreads, the prognosis, you know, is not that great, but um, this was one tenth of one millimeter from breaking outside of its wall, so it was still contained. And if I had waited to see, well, let's see if this is really something, then it really would have been something. So if you have um, fair skin, or even if you don't, if you have something that is kind of not normal, came up quickly, something you're concerned about, go check it out right away. The, especially with skin cancer, the sooner you catch it, the sooner, um, not the sooner, but the better your prognosis. So anyway, I go every every six months and sometimes I go before because something will come up and I'll go, oh, that's new. And I'll just go in and get it taken care of. So proactive, that's what I believe in. So the today there was also, I got this wonderful comment or, um, of someone, you know, that um, said that, you know, my little tips are kind of helping and I am so appreciative to know that. So wonderful. The other question was, how do I encourage or motivate my husband to declutter? And that's a little bit tougher, you know, because we can um, take care of ourselves. We can do what we need to do once that inspiration comes. And I think that's the key. The inspiration has to come and people are inspired in different stages. But if you're inspired, just, you know, declutter, reorganize, sometimes putting a person's stuff who's not ready to declutter with you in one organized place um, and try to contain it into that one area is the best thing you can do or the best you can do at the time. So I would say probably just um, let them catch up as you're decluttering and the freedom is coming and that there's just this wonderful airy feeling of um, less encroachment on your mind when you declutter. So give them a chance to feel that firsthand 
and just keep encouraging and let them do it themselves on their own. If they want some help, you know, be there to jump in because you've had more experience at this than they have. And a lot of people hang on to things from childhood or teen years or early 20s or from other family members who have passed away, you know, but everything, you can't keep everything because these are also people who want to bring in new things. So we just have to realize there's only so much that you can organize. And when you get to the point that you can no longer organize it, that's the cutoff. That's where you stop and let it go. Let things go. Or if you want to get something, you kind of have to trade in and out. So if I got a new blouse in my closet, I have a certain amount of hangers. I'm not going to add hangers. I would have to trade something out. So those are just some tips. There's a lot more that you can do. Um, I would say mostly through kindness and example, will you win this battle? Will you win the war? Um, but remember, you're not worrying. You're not worrying against your spouse or um, children, but you know, you have a little more control where children are concerned, but lead by example, the tighter, tidier things get, the more willing that people will be to, you know, pitch in and be a part of where you're going because you're taking your house to a wonderful level and everybody's going to want to be involved. Well, I hope that helps and I hope you have a great and blessed day and I'm going to get to the kitchen and get started. Well, we're here in the kitchen and just about to get started. Um, right now, everything is peaceful and I'm ready to go. So our first problem is this cabinet. When we, um, okay, so here's, I told you, I, here's the stove. This is where I cook. Refrigerator is right across the counter and the island sink is over here. So this is, this is my triangle of operation. So what I need to do is to get my husband out of my triangle so that I can get more, just more space. Um, so this cabinet right down here is my spice cabinet and some extra kitchen tools, things like that. Now, my spice cabinet has changed a lot. This was full rows and rows of spices and then I started my carnivore diet so here's my salt I, I really don't eat this one anymore um, I use this it's Redmond sea salt it's from an ancient seabed um, so ancient fine sea salt so this is what we have in our salt shaker now and there's some white pepper and stevia so this is where i usually just kind of operate from down here um so i can i can get rid of all those things back there and in this cabinet is where jules kept his carousel of supplements that are backups that he fills he has a well, let me show you. He has a container that he fills his um, supplements with. So here we go. Um, these. So he put a week, week's worth into here. And so from this carousel, he fills this. There's one for, for me and one for him. And these are extras that we take every day. These we take three times a week and then we take these like B vitamin, K2, and a multivitamin every day. And then over here, remember, this was the extra or the, um, that we weren't taking the backups in the bedroom. Anyway, um, this is what we have and this goes into the category of respecting your husband and the things that he has in the house. What does he want? He wants to be able to get to these things very easily. 
and without a lot of effort. So I'm going to create that space for him because we had our dailies in one place. We had our carousel backups in another. And then remember, all of these were in the bedroom because he takes those at night and at morning, and so do I. So what I wanna do is to create just a really simple, simple um, space for him. We have also have more in the cabinet, so I don't know if that's gonna fit here, um, but that cabinet is kind of not in my way. So maybe if we have two spaces instead of five, or maybe we can fit it all in here. We'll see how it goes. But so in order to do this, what do I have to do? I have to clean out this cabinet. This cabinet, this goes on the counter when we have company. Um, so this used to be my baking drawer. So I got rid of um, sugars and baking powders, things like that, and lots and lots of white flour. It's all gone. So now I just have my doggy, doggy supplements, some koshering salt, and a huge tub of coconut oil. So I'm gonna make a new home for that. And then down here, I have some pie dishes, and then this is a, a trivet, which I do use when we have company. And then this is bowl that I use for Hanukkah. And so I will keep that out and close by. And then we have um, the honey holder for Rosh Hashanah. So I will just find a spot for that because, you know, got to keep those handy. And then um, a large baking dish, some sill pats for lining baking dishes, and these are for the Instant Pot, in case I ever want to make a cake or something. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna be happening, but I may use it for something. So I'm gonna take these things out, try to make a home for them on the other side, and then um, try to get as many supplements organ in an organized manner into this cabinet as we can. So um, let's get started and see see how far we get with this little project. So I'm gonna put you up here and let's kick it into high gear. Okay, so I um, put the baskets in. I took some things out that um, we don't take anymore, so I put those on the side so I can throw them away. And I have um, a large space on this side, so I'm gonna see how much more from that cabinet I can put down here. And in this drawer, I really don't like this here because you have to, but we take it out every day and most of the time, it's honestly it's on the counter most of the time so i'm gonna probably just take this out and put it on the table because we put it on the table and take it when we have our lunch so that can be in and out um and then this turntable over here it turns still um will be there i'm not going to fill up this space because it would make it hard for my husband to take the turntable out and that defeats the purpose. This is to make life easy on him. So I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna go up on my ladder and get some more things and fill this up. It's getting magical. It's getting beautiful. Hey, Bob, did you come to visit? So here's what we have from the shelf, all of all of these. Um, and we're gonna just put them in the back. And then I have these two little baskets. And honestly, I'd like to use those baskets someplace else. 
So I'm going to try to empty them so that I can use them to organize another space in the bathroom. So, okay. And there are one, two, three, four supplements in this weekly organizer. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to throw those away. All right, so let's, let's fill it up. So I'm, I'm putting like things together so that um, you can find them. So keeping this organized is also a high priority. So sorry I'm all crunched down like this. Oh, hey, I can move. I can move the camera. <laughs> I need a camera, man. All right, so here's our little drawer. Let me pull. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of crunched, huh? To get to get into the camera. Oh well, I don't need to be in the camera. The point is, we're getting this done, and it's not taking very long because I've gotten a, I'm turning all the labels forward. I've gotten a lot of things done in the kitchen over the past few months. Starting, if you if you haven't seen it, starting with the drawer on. Um, the kitchen, decluttering the kitchen junk drawer, which is no longer a junk drawer. So yeah, pretty excited. It's still pretty tidy. All right, so now this can go in the cabinet. Man, that was satisfying. All right, so um, we have, let me show you what we accomplished up here. So we have two shelves, completely, completely supplement free. And then um, I still have more space right there. So I might, I might be able to get all of these in there. Now, remember that's my that's my shelf of things that I take that um, Jules doesn't take. And it's really convenient to have it there. But I want the kitchen to function better. And I would like things, um, dishes, pans, bowls, things up here. Because I have things just too disjointed in this kitchen. So, and you have to actually live in a kitchen for a while to figure out how that I never know, let's see. I guess I have to look at that end to make my eyes go in the right direction. Anyway, um, you know, you just have to live with your kitchen a while to know what, what you're gonna need. And if you've been in your kitchen for more than two years and it still uh, bothered you, you might need to rearrange some things and just go ahead and do it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm, gosh, not, not taking very long at all, but um, the best part was getting rid of all my baking um, goods. Not, not pans or anything, but the goods, the, when I got rid of that, that freed up a lot of area. And so, yay, so he's gonna come in. He's just gonna get his stuff and move on and doesn't have to say, which stack is this in today? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I'll take some pictures when I'm completely finished and then um, let me know. Are you reorganizing? Are you decluttering? Are you cleaning? Are you getting it done? Ah, it feels good. Well, cleaning out the top two shelves and that these are the pie plates from the other drawers. And this is the casserole dishes from the, the bottom shelf. So um, that was easy. So, but it has inspired me to keep going. So I did the bottom shelf, which had a lot of things that were mine. And so I'm just going through all these things now to see what I have duplicates of or what I don't take anymore. And then I got all of this out of the bottom shelf. It's amazing what you can squeeze in. So these are all just things that are going that I don't take anymore. I'm not going to hang on to. And these are, you know, liquid supplements, which I will probably, well, they're powder and you put it in liquid. Um, but we don't take those anymore either. And these are all the little cups because I would put a scoop of all these things in one cup and then I would mix it with water and we would take it. And so you could just grab this little cup, dump it in your water for the day. Anyway, that was a project. So I don't need these and I don't need these. So I'm gonna box those up and whoever gets these will also get these. And I think those will go in the trash. And then look what I got. I got all these storage organizers for the bathroom or wherever I'm going to need them. So remember, I've taken a pledge to not buy anything for one year, which will be next February 1st. So I wanted some of these. I really wanted some of these because now that I'm decluttering and reorganizing, I thought I would need them. And guess what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six today. Like, wow. Now, I if I had bought them, I would have too many. But now, I think I'm going to need six because that's what I have. And so, I can contain things in these six little bins. And um, what doesn't fit doesn't stay. All right. So, this is my other counter. These are dog supplements that I mix in with their food because I make dog food for my dogs. And so I'll go through this and perch, and then I'll go through this and perch, and then I have all this, look at, oh my gosh, oh, extra kitchen space. So what that inspired me to do was, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to unstack to get to things. Maybe one thing, maybe two, but not this many. So I wanted to use this bowl a few days ago, but there were one, two, three stacked on top of it in this cabinet, and it was too much trouble to do, so I just didn't use that bowl, so I used the top one. So what I'm going to do is reorganize some of this stuff and put it over in this cabinet so that I will have room, and let me show you what's going on in this cabinet. All right, so I have things all the way to the top, which I'm, I'm really fine with all of that stuff. These are, these are mugs for soup, so we use those. And this is my doggy cabinet. We, we have a dog that is diabetic and needs um, to have her blood sugar checked, needs to have insulin and eye drops and gabapentin and all kinds of things. Um, so like my little cabinet for the dogs was like from here over and then you can see it was spilling out and things are just chaos and I would have to dig through this every day, not only every day, but three times a day. So now I'm going to maybe use some of my baskets and have this whole cabinet just for dogs. Then I can take these. I have two of these. I'm going to make them into one and let's see here we go meal mix and I'm going to be able to have everything for a dog in one spot I'm going to have everything supplement in one spot I'm going to have everything dishes and and bowls 
in one spot. I'm happy, people. I'm happy. So, all right, let me let me finish declutter and trash and get a gift box out and we'll be done. Hold on. No, hold on. Because it's really going to happen in one second. So, I'll see you in the next segment. So, this is my two dish roll. So, I had space for that whole stack of dishes. So, I have two bowls here, two bowls here, and two here. And there are different things. Like, these can go in the oven, and these I, I mix things in, and these I serve in. And this is these are casserole, casserole dishes. Um, so this is mostly for when I have company and I'm making a larger amount of food or something. So that's what that's for. So anyway, and then I have on the top this decorative water pitcher, which I use whenever I want to serve lemon, lemonade, lemon water, water, or anything with company. And then I have like some dishes up there that I use less often, but I do use. And then I have all these pie, pie plates. And I don't make pie anymore, but when I did, those worked out really well. So I've got that finished, so I'm gonna close it. And I feel good. I feel really good about that because I have this drawer finished or this cabinet and i have a lot of space left in there i have a few things i'm going to take out uh spice wise i have this cabinet completely finished and it's not overcrowded so i can get into it so what i'm doing is just kind of working my way from this cabinet all the way around and i'm finished with this cabinet my next cabinet is right here remember we started down here, but that is almost finished. But since I'm getting the cabinets done, I'm gonna get this done. Then we will really see some progress. So this is now my little veterinarian center. I've got the medications that the dogs take daily. And these are some things that are going to be in the future because Shady is going to have cataract surgery, my little insulin syringes for her. And this is a box of extra insulin, insulin syringes, some coconut oil, and these are little um, supplements that the dogs take every day. This one, is for vision. I got these from their Zesty Paws Vision Bites. I got those from Amazon. And I also got these from Amazon. It's immune, and it's an aller, aller immune bites from Zesty Paws because we have one dog, Bob, that has a lot of skin allergies. And when he takes those, he doesn't. Um, his hair will fall out and he will get like scratching and it's just itching all the time. But I found out instead of giving him steroids, I give him these allergy bites and he does great with them. So this is the whole bottom cabinet. So daily use, future use, insulin syringes, male additives and vitamins. So that's that makes my life so much easier because I'm the, the one who does this every day, three times a day. And now, yay. Okay, this is a very important part of every declutterer's day and event. I just got tired. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed to get, to make decisions on the rest of the stuff I have going on. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take a look at my cabinet and say, yay, excellent, that feels good. Close that cabinet done. I'm done with that. So uh, this is my cleaner and honestly it adds to the clutter. So I'll take that away. And then um, these are these are little lids and bowls um, that goes down here in this drawer. Now in this drawer it may 
not look as organized to you as it does me, but I have all the lids and I have all the bowls and everything has a lid top and bottom. So I, and why do I have this many whenever we don't have leftovers? Well, we do have some leftovers, but the reason I'm keeping all this is when we have company and they leave, I give them all the food, all the food goes. And so I go through these bowls very, very quickly. So they won't, they won't, they won't last long. So, and then they're out of my house and declutter. So I hang on to bowls as I get them. This is a candy, well, it's kind of an ice cube thing, but it also makes candy. And I said, I don't make candy, but my son does. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this for him. And then um, onward and upward, let's get going. But I, I, this is the point, oh, sorry, I, I lost my train of thought. This is the point where you want to throw everything away put everything back or just walk away, you know, because you can only make so many decisions, even if they're easy decisions, so many decisions before your brain gets a little bit of an overload and that's what's going on now. So I could take a break. I could have a snack. Bob's crying. Even he's, he's feeling the pressure or I could just power through. And it depends on how much you have left to do when you make that decision. Since I don't have a lot of time today and it's almost time to make lunch, I'm gonna just go ahead and get it finished. And then, um, again, I'll show you the wrap up at the end, but I just want you to know that that pressure that I'm feeling and that you feel, it's real and it doesn't mean things are going wrong. It doesn't mean it's out of control. It just means you've made a lot of decisions so far and you should congratulate yourself for that. So, all right, we'll be back. Okay, project finished. I am finished, finished, finished. All the cabinets are closed. All the supplements are dealt with. And I just have now to back up what I am going to hang on to give to someone. And I have my trash can here and my Bob. And we're going to get, just get rid of this stuff. So excellent, excellent morning. Didn't take that long. I probably spent um, about an hour doing this. So, but it has lasting, lasting benefits. So. All right, so now I just move this over and I just stacked it. I wouldn't, if I'm, if I'm really decluttering and reorganizing, I wouldn't put these two piles together. But I just wanted you to see how much stuff came out of my cabinets that is not of a benefit to me anymore. So I can just throw away things that were taking up space. Um, I gave this to this is Kosamine. We gave this to our dog one time and then our dog became lame and she still kind of walks with a limp after seven, eight months. So just be careful if you're giving this to your dog. And I looked up online and there have been cases where that caused um, lameness. So um, it was expensive and we, we did it, um, thinking we were doing the best for our dog. So make sure you investigate things very thoroughly before you start giving different supplements to your dog. After that, I always check and see what I can find out. So these are just extra things we no longer take. I no longer believe in taking. So I'm just getting rid of it. And some things are empty. Uh, and I was able to put them in another bottle that I'm just condensed. So that's what that is. And the extra box of a doggy meal mix. We were able to, I'm gonna break this so it doesn't poke a hole in my bag. Um, 
just different things that we were able to just get rid of. And I'm surprised how many empty bottles that I had in there. All right, so this this is not trash. So I'm hanging on to that. Um, this is um, nutritional yeast. Um, so I'm just gonna give that to my daughter, put it on her salads, and I'm gonna put all this in a bag and give this to someone who still eats vegetables. So. Anyway, I hope you are inspired. I hope you enjoyed our little, our little de quick declutter rearrange of the day, and I hope you're able to get something done today. So thanks, and thanks for your questions. Please leave your comments below, and like and subscribe if you haven't. Remember, that's a big help. Well, bye everybody.